Hello everyone, welcome to Crazy Geeks and it's me Roshan Freshra. On this particular video, we'll be talking about how to generate some random numbers in particular range. So let's say between 0 to 5 or 1 to 10 and so on. Before moving forward, if you guys are not still connected with this particular channel, do not forget to like, share and subscribe this particular video. Anyway, let's begin. On our previous video, we have discussed about the rand and yes, rand function. If you are having some trouble and understanding of this particular function, make sure to visit the previous tutorial on this same topic. Uh, let's use yes rand and provide the seed as time zero. We'll be using yes rand at the top of our program, then write the for loop i equals zero i is less than five or something then we'll be using printf for displaying purpose percentage t and we'll be using rand function for random number generation which provides the number random numbers between zero to rand max uh check the previous video for this one Anyway, uh, I'll be directly jumping towards playing around with the reins. At first, let's try to run this program. Okay, everything is good. Uh, these are the random numbers being generated by this particular rent. Now let's try to run this program again and verify whether these numbers are appearing in same sequence or not. Obviously, it's not appearing in same sequence. so then numbers are being generated but uh, these numbers are appearing very much tough to keep track of how they are appearing now let's say we need to gener generate these numbers only on some rands uh, it's much more random let's say we need to play around between 0 to 5 Now for 0 to 5 what we need to do is everything is going to be exactly same only difference is we will be using modulus percentage 6 means we are going to get random numbers in the range of 0 to 5 awesome 0 1 3 5 1 let's rerun this one 4 3 2 4 0 double two double four zero and so on similarly if we need something between zero to fifty then we'll be writing fifty one okay cool and one of these thing we'll be using is uh, pretty much in some games like what dice okay upper limit is six no problem but there is not going to be number zero in that case what we can do is what we can do we can normally add one now wow Seven seven shouldn't appear there. Okay, something like this one. I've added one to make sure zero shouldn't appear as an output. The takeaway factor from this particular video is We'll be using srand for the time sheet uh, which will keep on bearing each and every time our program is executed because time keeps on changing then we can use any loop as per our requirement when we are making a function call to rand function then we're using percentage that is modulus and generate some numbers 0 to n minus 1 
okay guys uh, I hope you are able to understand how to generate numbers in particular rings uh, if you enjoy your time being here with me then make sure to like share and subscribe uh, I will catch you in next video with some exciting stuff this is it for now thank you very much